Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I'm really excited to bring this episode to you all because we get asked all the time about an inexpensive entry level greenhouse that's also good quality. Um, there's a lot of people that fall into this category and we have always grown in a larger 10 foot by 10 foot greenhouse. Definitely something that's a little bit more than most people either have room for or you know have in their budget they just they don't need that much space it's not not uh, very effective um, when it comes to how much they need how much space they need uh, and so they just need something kind of smaller and so they always say Luke you know I, I wish you'd kind of show some stuff that maybe might be kind of in our price range and and our uh, you know our range of, of gardening and so uh, I went out and I basically said I'm gonna find something that's extremely cost effective underneath that 50 that $50 price point that is good quality and uh, it is something that I would consider entry level. Now, don't let entry level scare you. I think a lot of people see entry level as kind of um, kind of beyond them. Like, oh, I don't want to be seen as like an, an you know a beginning gardener. I know a lot of uh, you know advanced gardeners that that they you know they grow in stuff like this too because they just don't have a need for that much space. So don't let entry level uh, you know you know, scare you away or whatever. Um, I will be growing in this, in fact. Um, once we get our cold weather crops up and growing, they're gonna be out here getting hardened off and it's gonna be uh, super great use um, of, of space because once our tomatoes and our peppers and stuff start growing, they're gonna need all the space they can get underneath those lights. So uh, that's why I got, that's why I basically put myself on a mission to get something that I could uh, set up and get growing quickly without having that, the large setup time for that 10 by 10 greenhouse. Cause we will be getting that set up. It's just, it's a, it's a big process, it's, a, it's an all day kind of thing so um, I just need something I could do quick so I went out I found this this is the shelter logic grow it four tier mini greenhouse uh, again I had not set this up yet so this is gonna be a first time uh, thing for us both and we'll kind of review it in real time the reviews on it were really awesome and one of the things that I liked about it that I guess had had going for it that others didn't is the fact that it's they have metal components so many of the greenhouses the entry-level greenhouses were plastic and I can't stand plastic number one is they break and they crack and they're very lightweight I like having a little bit of weight to them because greenhouses can become sales and while I definitely I do not see any uh i do not see any way of staking it down i don't see any any you know staking material i definitely will be staking this down because even though this is metal it's not that heavy um and so uh and obviously once you get plants and things in there too that makes it a little bit heavier but i still uh would recommend it but plastic would be even lighter and even cheaper and even flimsier so that's why i went with this one and so it was under the 50 dollars price point which i mean come on that's incredible so uh let's get this out let's take this apart let's see what we have to do and uh if i can do it you can do it that's what we've all found out here so <laughs> if i can do it you can do it let's go Alrighty, so what comes out first here? All right, so these must be the legs. Okay, I definitely like what I see. Definitely lightweight metal, but metal nonetheless. Um, so very cool. Okay. We got a timer on my phone. Let's see how long it takes. Let's go.
That's under 10 minutes. That's super, super awesome. So under 10 minutes for this greenhouse was incredible. I really was not sure what I would be getting myself into when I saw all those parts. But to be honest, it was actually really genius. And I'll tell you a few reasons why it was so genius. Number one is that they were able to save a lot of money by only having a few parts. So they had the short pieces, which were the extenders. They had the long pieces, which were the cross supports. And then they had the uh, basically the, the cross support brackets, if you will, um, that kind of held the, the structural integrity together and kind of gave things a way, a thing, you know, a, a place to click into. Um, and so they really only had three different pieces. Then they had the wire racks and then they had the top beams. So there was not a whole lot of moving parts so that they really could cut down costs. And I think that's why, you know, it is one of the more inexpensive greenhouses, yet it is probably one of the higher quality greenhouses for an entry level gardener. And the next thing I was really impressed with was the, uh, you know, the, the overall build was easy. Um, one of the things that I will say um, is, as I'm grading this, is that it's not as structural as, or it's not as, um, uh, you know, sturdy as I thought it would be. Um, it definitely is a little wobbly, um, wobbly side to side and wobbly front to back. Now that will be fixed by using those U-shaped uh, uh, landscape hook spikes things. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I think they're called a use. I think they're called landscape fabric spikes. I believe that's what they're called. Um, and I will post a link in the description box to not only this greenhouse, but to also those fabric spikes. Cause I think that is going to be the ticket to keeping this thing from going airborne. Um, so I would give a uh, sturdiness a B for what I was expecting. Now this is all in comparison to you know what I was expecting, so um, you know an A would be like exceeding my expectations. A B is probably you know meeting my expectations, and a C would be below my expectations. Um, overall build quality A. I absolutely was not expecting it to be this easy when I saw those parts. Um, the quality of the the fabric or not the fabric the the uh, the the cover A. I absolutely was not expecting it to be this thick. It is so much thicker than I was expecting. One thing that I did not expect whatsoever is to have two zippers. This is a quality feature that I certainly was not expecting. But all in all, I'd have to give this a pretty solid B+. Plus. Um, I would recommend this as a beginner greenhouse for under $25. It certainly will be uh, a plenty of space to grow all of our cold weather crops out here, get them hardened off and ready to move into the garden. Um, and it will also uh, be a great holding place for, um, for, just, for just plants that don't really have a place yet. Um, Cause like I said, one of the biggest things that I'm concerned about is as the tomatoes start growing and sprouting, you know, they're going to grow real quick and I'm going to need to pop those up into bigger pots. And we have more tomato plants and more pepper plants than we ever have before. So some of the cold weather crops that can afford to be moved outside and when it might get down to freezing or so, um, or at least frost temperatures, uh, they're going to survive just fine in here and they won't even notice a difference. Things like onions, you know, I don't need to put those down underneath grow lights. Um, they're started underneath grow lights, but if I can move them out here as soon as I can, boy, I'm going to do that. So, um, so definitely this is going to serve a great home for those. Uh, and like I said, I will be staking this down because, uh, I don't see, it's not shaking very much in this wind, but it's also only about maybe five to 10 mile an hour winds right now. And we do get gusts up to 40 miles an hour very easily in the spring here. So that's my only concern. But other than that, it is an A, it's an A minus greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> B plus greenhouse anyways. So anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed. I do recommend you'll check out this greenhouse. Um, again, I'm not getting paid to do this. I actually went out and bought this just because I actually had a need for it. And I wanted to, to show you all what can be possible from an entry level greenhouse under 50 bucks. And so I think we did it. All right. Hey, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. Let me know in the comments box below if you get this greenhouse, what you think of it, or if you even own this greenhouse, what you think of it and, uh, and maybe some improvements that can be made. All right. Hey, I'll catch you all later. This is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to like this video, click that circle and subscribe, share this video with a friend if you think they'll enjoy it, and grow bigger, go home. Bye.